going on guys and uh welcome back to some welcome to something new um with the release of super mario brothers wonder just around the corner i just gotta test my mixing software for a second because i'm using brand new mixing software but uh i figured why not play a 2d mario game and uh i figured why not go with the uh most beloved out of the 2D Mario games, and a game that's really not one of my favorite Mario games. Like this might be like a hot take, but like um, I kind of I'm guess I'm gonna kind of explain. Uh, I definitely think this is a groundbreaking game for its time, and like um, a lot of this pretty much laid the groundwork for 2D Mario. I acknowledge that. However, I have kind of my own personal biases because, like, this was, I was born in the late 90s, so this game was before my time, and, uh, so basically, uh, the Super Mario Advance 4, the GBA port, was the first version of this game I played, and I did like this game when I was a kid, but then many years later, I played the NES version for the first time when it came on the Virtual Console, but then, like, um... I don't know, I have one issue with this game that I feel kind of, like hinders the experience for me or at least the nes port and uh anyway let's get this started i'll explain my grievances towards this uh port later it's only the nes port i have the problem with uh anyway so um yeah so uh we're gonna this is world one basically uh we're gonna go to the uh first level and uh I'm actually pl already playing sloppy. I did a practice run before I do this. Like, there is one pr particular problem I have with only the NES port. No other port of this game I have the problem with, but it's only the NES port I have the problem. But, uh, it's common in NES era games where, like, uh, to have, to not really have much of a save feature because, like, really only games like Zelda had save features. However, my problem with Mario 3 is that not only that there's no save feature, there's no password system either. So, like, um, and this is a pretty long game we're dealing with. Like, this is a game that's beaten in, like, two or three hours, or at least 100%. We're going to do 100%, which is uh, all stages. I'm actually charging my headphones, so I don't really hear the uh, game audio. I'm trying to, uh, this is also an experiment to test out new mixing software. Anyway, so stage two, there's kind of a cheat you can do in this level. You can, uh, get the Goombas out. Except that, uh, wait till some of them go on screen like this. I already missed the power up. Yeah, you, you kind of want to rack up on points. I'm actually doing really well on this. You kind of want to rack up on points. One up. One up. One up. You can keep farming lives. I don't do it too often because I do find it... There are a lot... This game, I will say, definitely hands out one-ups. Uh, maybe a little bit like candy. Like, um, this game does have unlimited continues. Like, you don't have to worry about the, uh, having to put in a code like Mario 1 or, uh, Having to, uh, what am I trying to say? Or having to, uh, have only have two continues like Mario 2. Like, this game does have unlimited continues, so they do kind of cut the slack right there. Alright, so, uh, this is also the first Mario game, 2D Mario game to have forks in the row. We can either go to stage 3 or stage 4 or go straight to the castle, and, uh, we're gonna just do stage 3 and, uh, well, it wouldn't be a Mario 3 playthrough if I didn't show Coin Heaven, but, uh... There's only tw two times in the whole game you can kind of go to Coin Heaven. This is, this playthrough will be all stages, so, like, uh, no... It'll be, like, uh, no warping and all that. And I did a practice playthrough yesterday. I figured out with the release of Super Mario Bros. Wonder that's coming out... Around the time these videos should be uploaded, like, um... I figured with the release of Super Mario Bros. Wonder, I figured why not play a 2D Mario game. Because there hasn't been a 2D Mario game since, like, new Super Mario Bros. Wii U, and I'll kind of give kind of a take. I've gone back and played some of the new Super Mario Bros. games. Like, I played new Super Mario Bros. DS, like, uh, 
um, a year ago. I don't think it's aged well. I also played New Super Brothers Wii. I don't think it's here. Also, um, this right here is how you get the whistle. We're not going to do any whistles in this playthrough, so you just, like, uh, you wait a certain amount of time. You just go in the background if you duck on a white platform. And then we're going to try to see if we can get... Yeah, if you get three stars in the uh, card, you get five one-ups, three mushrooms or two one-ups, and uh, three flowers or three one-ups, and uh, anything else is uh, one a one-up. I will say it's easiest to get the star, because you can just run and get the star. Anyways, this is the Toad House. Pick a box of its contents while you're on your way. This is also the first 2D Mario game to have inventory, which, uh, there's four inventory space. This game laid the groundwork for 2D Mario, it's just, um, I just kind of have personal bias against this for being before my time and not- Cause, like, I could have just as easily played the Super Mario- the Super Mario All-Stars port, like, I think the Super Mario All-Stars port is the definitive version. Because, um, it's also cleaner, like, Mario 3, like, also controls well, like, um, for, like, I would say of the NES era Mario games, like, uh, this one controls the best, because Mario, Mario 1's controls can be a little slippery at times, maybe not too slippery, but, uh, Mario 3 controls very tightly, it's, a, it's still, like, it, this game's over 30 years old, and, like, you can still pick it up and play it to this day, hence why they've constantly re-released it on every Nintendo console since the Wii. And they've re-released this many times. Now, if you get a certain amount of coins in this le in this level, I think it's like 30-something. It's one of the stages where you can get the White Toad House. I didn't get it in the practice playthrough, except I'm hoping I can get it now. I will definitely not be getting every single one of these, because I don't know how to get a lot of them. I kind of just walk slowly towards uh, this, uh, this one, just for good luck charm. And we get the White Toad House. And, uh, in, even, in odd number worlds, hello, you find my shop of strange and wonderful things. In odd number worlds, it will be a P-Wing. In even number worlds, it will be an anchor. The P-Wing lets you fly throughout the whole level, and the anchor, when whenever when there's airships, like, uh, you basically get to stop it. Anyway, so, uh, these are, uh, slots. And also, side note, I am also awful at these slots. Yeah, I didn't get anything. It's the same thing as the cards. Stars, five one-ups. Mushrooms, two one-ups. And, uh... Mushrooms, two one-ups. And, uh, flowers, uh, three one-ups. I actually think in, in the slot game, like, the mushrooms you use are And now, if you fly up here, you can just get a whistle. Except, uh, we're not gonna do that. We don't- we're not gonna get any of the whistles. I just kind of show you where they are. Now, uh, we're just gonna do the route that- I rarely see them playthroughs, actually. But I do kind of want to point out a difference between uh, the international version and the Japanese version. You see this uh, this uh, spike that's to the far right that like gives you room. It was kind of around here in the Japanese version. The Japanese version of Mario Three is also harder because um, when you hit with the late stage with the late stage power up uh, in the international version, you go back to Big Mario. But in the Japanese version, uh, nope, you go back to a uh, small Mario. And also, um, you get the, if you get a game over, which I'd kind of feel bad for you if you did, because I haven't seen a game over in this game in actual years. When you be a fortress, like, if you get a game over, you start the start point, you just skip right here. But, uh, you know, so we're going to go to the, uh, cards. You get the cards every 80,000 points. Now, I'll give you a tip, um, with the, uh, layouts. There are several predetermined layouts, and, like, no matter what layout you get, this one's always a mushroom, this one's always a flower, this one's always a star. So, like, uh, this one's a star, so... We get the flower, and, uh... We don't get the 20 coins. No. Okay, so we get the, uh... So we're gonna go to stage 5. Yeah, I'm just trying out, uh... I'm trying out new mixing software, because, like, uh... It'll make the, uh, recordings overall easier and also sound better. I guess I'm just gonna get a coin heaven this time. I kinda want some stages I just wanna get through as fast as possible, though I'm- I'm not a speedrunner. Like, Cosmic, I am definitely not. Mitch Flower Power, I'm definitely not. Those guys are, like, actual, like, Mario gods, especially Cosmic. And, uh, I didn't get a star right there. It's easy to just run and get the star. 
So we get to, uh, so stage six now, uh... It's actually hard to hear this game without uh, listening to the game audio. Because I forgot to put on my headphones. I just have the TV muted, like, uh... Like, I just have the TV muted, and my, like, my laptop speakers muted in the mixing software, so it should overall be fine. Now, I've heard it said before about this game that this game's kind of based- this game's kind of like up- like the setting of a theater play. And I've heard, like, theories that this game is actually supposed to be entirely a play, hence the, uh, curtain settings, and I can kind of believe that. Anyway, so, um... Pick a box, its contents will help you on your way. Now, uh, knowing my luck, I'm gonna get a mushroom here. I get a flower. I think I'll do worlds one and two in one part. Maybe this, this will be like a seven part playthrough because it's an NES era game. But I think I can do like it's all I've I've only been recording for like maybe five or six or seven minutes. So yeah, I can do world two. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. He's found my mushrooms and change him back. Now, uh the uh layout of that screen is also different in the Japanese version. And the Super Mario All Stars version. The, if you think about it, the Super Mario All Stars version bases a lot of things off the Japanese version. Like the Japanese version, like one of the biggest differences is like the loading time between stages. So yeah, this is the, uh, first the airships. If you get the anchor in the even number world in the white toad house, like, you can basically, um, if you die in one of these airships, they move to a different part of the world, however you use the anchor, they'll stay in the same spot always. Now, I'm also playing this on the Switch Online expansion, the Switch Online, because, uh, I just think it's the easiest accessible port, and not only that, like, I could just as easily play on the NES, however, the NES has always been my most neglected system out of, like, all the systems I own, because, like, the NES does not do surround sound, it only does mono sound. And the NES only goes up to composite video, so I can't get very good, a very good image, so, like... My personal recommendation is to play Mario 3 on a re-release. Because even with this port, we can use save states. Thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the Rizos. Now that Koopling we fought was Larry. And uh, Larry's the first of the Koopalings. When I was a kid, I used to get Larry and Iggy mix up. Greetings, if you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel to help protect you. And we get a P-Wing. Now we have two P-Wings and... Uh, I would suggest saving the P-Wings until you and use them if you really in only use them if you really need them. Like some stages you'll just cheat and use the P-Wing, but not very often. Now I actually I uh, wanna showcase something. Yeah, you can kind of kill those fiery things with your tail. I want to use a good luck charm and uh, get the star. Yeah, we're gonna get the star. Now, uh, stage two two is another one of these. Uh, first, we're gonna play a slot game and fail miserably at it. I'm gonna try to get the mushroom. The mushroom's the easiest to get. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> anyway, so uh, stage two. Um, Stage 2-2 two, two is actually, uh, one of the stages where you can get the White Toad House. This is one of your first chances to get an anchor. I can only really get the one in, uh, 2-2, two, two, or occasionally the one in 2-4, four, in, uh, 4-2. Now, get these coins right here. Don't- I don't blame you if you miss one. Yeah, I got that coin right there, and the 1-up did not go to draw distance, it went to draw distance. Anyway, so, uh, get the coins. 
Yeah, I got I got all the coins. You get you want to get like all the coins or at least a good majority of them if you want to get the white toad house. All right, I guess star. Wow, we get a white toad house and a card game. Which one are we gonna get first? We get the card game. So, uh, I think star was over here. No, it was the flower. Where was the 20 coins? Okay, I I don't have very good memory, let's just say that. And now we get the Toad House. I really found myself with strange and wonderful things, and uh, we get the Anchor, which uh, I would say, I would point out which worlds are best to use it in. Now there's actually another one-up trick if you have the Leaf. Um, you can actually, uh, you can go to these, uh, you can go to these Dry Bones right here. Because they should be able to get back up. As long as you float down, it's 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 a little different timing with the uh, raccoon too, because you have to tap the button. Where it's like it's not like Super Mario World, where like you can just hold the button. Yeah, we get some one ups right here. Let's see how many we can get. Well, not wasting too much time because this game does have a time limit, or the stages that have a time limit. Hold on, uh, all right. 27, 28, holy shit, look at that uh, dry bones right there. All right, we, we got 29 lives. All right, so, uh, so basically, um, yeah, you, these are the introduction of thwomps and boos in the Mario series. Uh, these would become staples in the Mario, these would become staples in both 2D and 3D Mario games. A lot did begin with Mario 3, I'll give it that. Like, even though this isn't one of my favorite games, I'm still acknowledging its influence, and I'm not going, like, full-on Aaron Hansen and, like, criticizing it just because it's a popular game. And there's Boom Boom again. You should not die to Boom Boom. Like, um... I once played, um this game with, like, one of my real-life friends on Switch Online, and, like, uh, it was really laggy when we played it, and, like, I think, like, the guy I was playing it with, he died on Boom Boom. It's, like, uh, cause, like, the Switch Online, like, is very, not very good. It's, like, Switch Online is, like, subpar at best, but, like, I just play it because, like, to play some games online and to just get access to older games that sometimes I wouldn't have, like, the NES era. Anyway, you can actually enter this pipe. Now, uh, an interesting thing, you see how the timer goes down in the bottom right? You can actually run the clock out in the pipes. I don't know why they did that. And in Super Mario All-Stars port, it's just a flat zero. Now, interesting thing is that, uh, interesting thing is that with Mario 3 speed running, like, uh, yeah, we can get early hammer, but, like, an interesting thing about with Mario 3 is that if you can get an early hammer, brother, like, um, one of the Hammer Brothers give out a hammer. Like, if you can get the very- Some speedrunners go for very early hammers so they can skip, like, one or two stages. It's really weird playing more through no audio. We're gonna get a one-up out of this because we should get the uh, 100 coins. It's staple in more games. 100 coins is a one-up. And are we gonna get five lives out of this? And here we go. Yeah! Anyway, so this is a, this is an infamous level for uh, people who are playing around through. It's not really that hard, but it's the moment. It's not really that hard if you know what you're doing. But like, um, this is the level with the angry sun. However, this level is significantly easier if you can utilize this trick. You can kill the angry sun with the uh, Koopa shell. And he should never. He should not respawn. 
He should only get to the stage, he should not be able to respawn, and that wasn't a hard level. I, I will say, though, Super Marvel's Wonder looks fucking phenomenal. Like, um, what am I trying to say? Like, um, it's got, uh, it's got a lot of playable characters. Like, Daisy's never been playable in a main series Mario game, but she's gonna be playable in Super Marvel's Wonder. I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be a little sad on one thing, though, is because, like, uh, Charles Martinet is no longer voicing Mario in that game. Like, Nintendo confirmed, like, he retired from, like, he retired from voicing Mario, like, not only that, like, um, Nintendo confirmed he's not gonna be, he's not gonna be the voice of Mario in the game. Though I did see the trailer, like, uh, Mario wasn't really, like, too hard to do an impersonation of, but, like, at the same time, like, um, whoever did, like, um, voice Mario in Mario Wonder, which I will find out when I see that game's credits, but, uh, he did do a very good job at, like, because, like, Mario's, like, Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny. He's not really, like, too hard of a voice to do. It's, like, it's, like, such an iconic voice, and, like, um... And, like, um, it's not really, like, too hard of a voice to do. Anyway, so, uh... Yeah, what I, what I was basically saying is that, uh, it's not really too hard of a... Mario shouldn't be, like... Mario is such an iconic voice, like, um... I guess, like, um, with I certain iconic voices, like, cause I, I've read... I've... I've heard a theory, which, uh, I totally believe it, which, uh, my theory, which I've read elsewhere as well, is that with, when it comes to, like, Martin A and the voice of Mario, like, um, Martin A probably has so many Mario voice clips that he's done over the course of de actual decades, that Nintendo probably just told him his services were no longer needed. Yes, I know he has a different role now, but, like, uh, still, when it? Okay, I cannot... I, it also doesn't help that I keep trying to stay around. Now, uh, I figured this out last playthrough. My friend was playing through. Just equip a star, and, uh, you can equip the, you can kill the chain chomps, but only with a star. But yeah, despite being a 2D Mario game, like, uh, they don't really... 2D Mario isn't really, like, the staple of the franchise anymore, it's just a more occasional thing, but Mario Bros. Wonder looks like it's gonna be a solid game. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna get the cards, and uh, not the cards, the slot. Let's see if we can get the mushroom. Not, no. I suck at slots. I suck at gambling. That's what I meant. So you want to use the, uh, this is one of the only whistles I, this is the, uh, this is the third pl place where you get a whistle. This is with the, uh, Fire Brothers and, uh, you get a whistle right there. The whistles let you skip the later worlds, except we're not going to be utilizing whistles. And if you go into this house, it's a guaranteed item. Yeah, it's a guaranteed, uh, frog suit. Which, uh, the frog suit will definitely help you on the water levels, which, uh, this game also- this also kind of gives the hint that the next world is going to be water-oriented. And I will give this game credit, like, uh, even though Mario 2 basically gave worlds different layouts, like, this is the first, like, uh, this also one- this is the first, each, like Mario, I'd say Mario 2 was the first world, first Mario game with like each world a different layout, but like, some people will also, I also think it's kind of snobbish to like, criticize the American Mario 2 for like, not being the real Mario 2, because at the same time, like, the Japanese Mario 2 that you think, that you claim, that you want to be really, you want to be released in America, like, um, like, have you ever actually played that game whenever, like, whenever I encounter people, like, um, that say that, it's like... Because I've beaten both the Famicom and the, uh, All-Stars version of Japanese Mario 2. It's a hard game. Like, I will say about Japanese Mario 2, like, the, uh, first two worlds aren't that hard, but still not that easy. I did a whole video about it. Anyways, this, this is another one of these, uh... If you interestingly enough... The print, Pete, print, the princess doesn't get kidnapped quite yet in Mario 3. If you read the manual, it says, uh, the seven kings have been transformed by the Koopalings, um, 
if you read the manual, it basically says that. So, uh, yeah, interestingly enough, um, a lot of NES games, like, don't really have much of a plot or, like, don't have much of an introduction, like, or cutscenes or any of that. Like, Ninja Gaiden's an exception, but, like, a lot of NES games don't read the plot, like, you had to have the manual. So the port, the uh, the uh, Koopaling that's in uh, this airship is uh, Morton Cooper Jr., who is based on the actor Morton Downey Jr. Actually, Morton Cooper Jr. is based on two famous people. He's based on Morton Downey Jr. However, his name is based off of Morton Downey Jr. However, his uh, however his uh, makeup, the star that he has on his head, is supposed to be based off of uh, Paul Stanley of Kiss, which. Uh, Interestingly enough, I can't fucking stand Kiss. Like, um, I just, I don't know, it's just like, Gene Simmons just gives off, like, a vibe, like, not only I don't like, but at the same time, a lot of people don't like. I don't know why I went off about that, <laughs> but like, uh, we just got the wand. Now, uh, the king is, uh, transformed, and he looks kind of like, uh, Oh, thanks heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you very much. He, he says the same thing. Unless you have a frog suit, a tanuki suit, or a, rack, or a hammer brother suit, he'll give, they'll give different phrases. And we got a cloud, which lets us skip level screens. You can stop an enemy using Goomba Shoe. It says Karibo Shoe in the Japanese version. I'm close, you'll help to adapt to you. Princess Hoso. I think this part of Mario 3, Super Mario Bros. 3. So next time with Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, we're gonna do World 3. See you guys next time.